Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Season 2 of Planet Nomads. Uh, for those of, of you that were watching, uh, following the series, I apologize for the abrupt end of Season 1. Uh, I was lost motivation or desire to build, well not necessarily desire, but uh, I don't know, it just wasn't there for me, and I figured that maybe it had something to do with the survival aspect not being involved. So I decided to start up again the survival. Uh, we do have new things we can try out. I'm actually checking out some of these wreckage parts here. Uh, definitely going to keep those laying around. But yeah, I thought we'd revamp the series and go from here and see how things go. Take the battery, the sleeping bag, or take the mission manual data pad, whatever that is. And yeah, um, one of the things that I was actually missing about the survival aspect was uh, the whole automation grindiness of resource collecting. Right, like uh, now we have the water pumps and the selectable miners, which makes resource gathering a lot easier. So yeah, uh, the only thing I do have to watch out for is paying attention to my food and thirst now, and my battery, of course. But that's no big deal. We'll just mine up some resources and let's get this uh, let's get this printer down. And look at that! I have absolutely no blocks. That's actually a change for me. And uh, we could actually, it's an emergency 3D printer, so we'll make it red. No red. Uh, I didn't just apologize for not having the updated video. Uh, that's actually one of the things they did. They added the center of mass to any odd structure you build now for flight purposes. And we have deuterium generators, which actually seem pretty good compared to, uh, to the uranium ones. Like they have a large deuterium generator that generates 8,000. Uh, they also added power buttons inside the GUIs of all menus, and I need to get some iron. So let me gather up a few resources, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I found a spot just behind me there. I've uh, got a whole bunch of iron and carbon out of it. And, where's my pod? Over here. My little home. Remember the last time I got out one of these things, I was looking for what I thought was going to be a huge, giant warehouse. So I ended up in this tiny little box next to my thing with massive overpowered stacks but let's go in here and dump all this in here we'll get some frames going uh, let's see how many we need now uh, we'll get six of each and then we'll grab some water and maybe look for some seeds and food while we wait uh, where is water oh there's water right here perfect and let's grab some biomass while I'm at it oh these early tier tools, oh, they are so painful. Eh, this takes so long. Get a lot of get a lot of biomass out of these. It's one thing that'd be nice if uh, they had automated biomass collection. They have the water. Now we just need the biomass. But it should be something involved with the greenhouses. Oh wow, that takes forever. Alright, well, we got some for now. So let's go down here, grab some water, grab some seeds while we're here. Is this not harvestable? Maybe not. Maybe not yet. And grab some water, dirty water. I'll we'll have to make the food and drink machine. We'll have to purify that. Uh, that's the best thing about the water pump we have now is we can harvest and collect this automatically. You can set a food and drink machine to endlessly produce purified water using the carbon, excess carbon you get from the miners. So you basically have an infinite power source. Yes, that's how I roll. Uh, with some of the other blocks they have in the game too, there's a few other things I'm going to attempt through on this playthrough. Um, there's also different things we can do too, like go exploring for wrecks and checking out monuments and stuff like that. And, just because we're doing the whole survival thing doesn't mean we can't get uh, creative out of the box and even a little mad at what we do. You can always find ways to go explore stuff. Ah, screw it. It's got enough. Got enough for now. These should be ready. Yes, they are. I'll take those. And so now i got to build a base foundation. Go ahead and build that. Take it apart so I can get out of the next step. Getting through the tech is so easy. Build something, you take it apart, and you get the next one. Because I don't want to use these, I like the ceiling panels better. Which are a little ways away, so 
I guess we're going to have to go with the base foundation then. Uh, we will get the food and drink machine and work our way towards a printer. Alright, so let's go in here and let's uh, tell we're going to make that. I like this gray, so. Hmm. Let's go over here. Why not? I have no idea where my hole is. I probably should be careful what I say because I don't want to. That's going to be taken out of context. Go ahead and build that one there. Uh, what was it we used? Build two and two. Oh, these early tier tools. Oh my god, I'm going to complain about that until I get up to the Spark 2. Mark 3. Alright, go ahead and build that. And, so now, i got to get this food and drink machine up and running. Um, I don't really have any walls at the moment. What am I missing? Electrical parts and composite materials. Well, Actually, I gotta go back and get all my stuff over here. So let me get a few more things uh, run, and I'll be back. Okay, I got a few things all made up. I accidentally replaced my battery too, which kind of sucks. So now we actually have the bio generator. Uh, we will need to make a well. We don't need to make a switchboard for that. What do I need for this? I need uh, two more circuits, two more composites. Uh, so I'll go ahead and make two more of those and two more of those. And while we're at it, we might as well build a small container. We'll let him place that down. Let's put it next to that. We will make it brown. Why not? Got to remember the right keys. All right. Oh, and I just hit the reload button again, wasting my batteries. Anyway, take those out of uh, that, and. I think I have everything I need now for the bio generator, do I not? Well, I'll we'll find out in a second here. Uh, let's make this green because it's a bio generator, why not? Hey, I got power. Alright, so that means I can get into the printer next. Eventually. Uh, what do I have to unlock the printer? Reinforced wall corner. Alright, well, let me sleep away the day. I'll get a few more things crafted and I'll bring you back. Okay, it is day. I've got a few more things crafted. I went and grabbed a few little more iron and carbon while I was at it. So let's go ahead and get these out of here. And what was next on the on the build menu? Next is the reinforced wall corner. I'll go ahead and place that down. Just uh, build it. So we can get into the printer. Just take it apart for now. Uh, may as well place a few more foundations down. Get a bit of more of a floor going on here. If I can get it to snap. And... Oh, I need more frames. Haha. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just get a few more of these going while I'm finishing up this. Uh, I don't want to build, make too many because uh, it's cheaper to use a 3D printer than to use the emergency 3D printer. You need less resources. Okay, and okay, let me go ahead and place this eventually. And I'm missing a plating. Not anymore. Oh my god, that's painfully slow. That's going to be the, the first step is trying to get up to the armory. And there we go. We have power. So let's go ahead and make this. Let's make the printers black. Why not? And I need frames. Of course I do. All right, and now what's next? Uh, more electronic parts, more composites. Uh, and I'm going to have to make a switchboard, so yeah, give me a moment. Okay, so I got everything, so let's go ahead and get our printer all finished up. And before we continue, we need to get a switchboard down. 
I went ahead and uh, made everything I need. So let's go ahead and ah, whatever. Let's just put it on the chip, on the printer for now. Not that we're going to be using the port for anything. Okay, so it's got power. Let's go ahead and give this fuel. I'll cut down another tree, so we do have some biomass now. So now we go ahead and oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, C. There we go. And why can I connect to the? I don't know. All right. So now we have the printer set up. We have our food and drink machine set up. Uh, I can go ahead and put that in there. I need carbon for the water. Uh, what's the bio paste? Bio paste is bio mass. That's relatively cheap. Disgusting as all hell, but cheap. But anyway, so now I'm all set up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the episode here. I'm going to do a little bit more resource gathering and uh, bring you back when it's time to start setting up our first little home on this desolate planet. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't, leave, don't forget to leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.